Welcome back to What's the 4 and one Every week we call someone on the carpet, and this week I'm calling on the carpet the mainstream media. Okay. Yes. You know, like I, like many people around the world, we were really shocked, appalled, saddened by the terrorist attacks that happened right. in Paris. Yes. Um, it injured hundreds and killed 129 people. That is so many people, and it might kill more because yeah. people are critically injured. Yes. So ISIS, I mean like Al-Qaeda, like Al-Shabaab, like all of these terrorist groups, they are scourged, they threaten freedom all over the world. And so I think like the wall-to-wall the -wall coverage that we got about the attacks are warranted. I think it's right, I think it's appropriate, and Paris, you know, they stood with us. France there are, is, you know, one of our allies, has been so for many years, so I think it's great. But what bothers me is when other attacks happen in the third world, developing world, where people happen to be black and brown, yes. it does not get the same coverage. Right. It gets no coverage, actually. Yeah, I mean, we it, didn't it, even know what, about Rwanda. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, that's what I said. <laughs> right, right, right. We're exactly. like, why? What are what you talking about? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really it's really sad. I mean, you know, again, Charlie Hebdo early this year also happened in Paris. We heard about it. You know, wall to wall coverage and all that. But you know, just a couple months later, remember in Kenya there was a massacre where Al Shabaab killed 147 students yes. at a Kenya yes. university. We yes. talked about it on this show. We 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 bring you the news. We do. Yeah. But you know, in mainstream media, it was like a blip. Like people talked about it. They did. They reported it. For a day. But it wasn't. But not all wall day. to wall coverage. And it's right. like why. You know, there's no ongoing civil war in Kenya where you say, okay, this is commonplace, they're always at war. No, they are our allies. The people were innocents, they were young college students, yet they're treated completely differently. And I think that is a problem. Um, I mean, I could go on. Thousands upon thousands are killed right. in Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria is being torn apart by civil war, and we don't see the images constantly in our consciousness. And it, it changes the way that we view these people. Like, we view... Parisians and French is, you know, more as somehow people. closer to as, us. As, right. as people. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Right. And it's like, oh. Surgeons, yeah. right? Right? It's, it's, like, it's like, you, yeah, we don't view, right. And then, that. you know, you don't see it. So you're like, oh, that's oh, that's them. That's over there. That's them. That's not us. And right. that's that's wrong. Yeah, and I think, one. you know, we are all one. And it's like, we can't always control what the media will report on. But with social media now, we all have the power. And you saw that. Yes. When this happened. Like, my feed was lit up with people like, what about Kenya, y'all? What about Kenya? Remember Kenya? Right. What about Kenya? So it, it was so many people actually tweeting about this right. and mm -hmm. Facebooking it and all that stuff that people actually thought that Kenya just happened. Right. People mm -hmm. who had missed it the first time mm -hmm. around were like, oh, Kenya just happened? We can drive the narrative if we put it on social media. And so Absolutely. I think we need, really need to put pressure on the mainstream media to report these things. 